Now that Amazon Prime Day is here, we decided to put together a small collection of items that may interest you, mostly centered on those mini computers. Welcome to Team Pandora. Subscribble. The first thing that came to our attention was this thermal grease. $6 gives you six grams, and you can use this with your CPU, GPU, or basically anything that needs thermal paste reapplying. It works out at about half the price of uh, regular MX4, but if we check an article in Tech Power Up, we can see that this is actually some pretty decent stuff, stating it's on par with Cryonaut Extreme. So if you need to reapply some thermal paste, this is a no-brainer. We'll now move on to the budget mini PCs, and the first up is the GMK Tech G3. This is around $127, and it's powered by the N100 chip. This mini PC is ideal for students or as a family PC. It's not bad for light gaming, and can emulate up to PlayStation 2. If you want to go up a tier, there is the N97 option, which is the GMK Tech G5. It gives you slightly faster GPU, CPU, more memory, but it's in a tiny form factor, giving it a smaller fan, making a bit of a screamer in comparison. If we move on to B-Link, we have the S12, with the N95 processor. While it's slightly less powerful than the previous two computers, it's perfectly capable for regular tasks in Windows, making it a great student or family PC. And to add, this one is extremely quiet. The main difference between this one and the previous two computers is that this GPU has far less cores, making it not as capable when it comes to gaming, but they can still do rather well when it comes to emulation, again, up to around PlayStation 2. Next up is the B-Link EQ13. This one has the N200 processor, and there isn't much of a bump in CPU power here from the N100 chips, but it makes up for it in different areas. As this one has dual Ethernet LAN, an even higher focus on silent running, and a clear aesthetic, mostly due to the inbuilt power supply, it's very ideal to be used as a server for Plex, Jellyfin, and things like that. And of course, it can be used as a normal PC for the family too. If you wanted to halve the size of that, there's always the Zima board at 26% off. Even though it's powered by a quad-core Intel N3450, it makes a nice little fanless server. Rather than having Windows at stock, it comes with something called Casa OS, which is a distro of Linux, making it extremely easy to set up and run your own server. To be fair, it's quite insane what you can do with this, so I'll give you a few keywords to give you an idea. Minecraft. Server. Torrenting. Your own YouTube. Hacksync. Strawberry Jam. Next up is the GMK Tech M6. This is one of the budget Ryzen options, and this is where you should start if you wanted to play some games, provided you don't mind lowering the graphic options and playing a 720p, that is. This one can emulate up to Wii U. It has two fans inside to keep everything cool, and also has two NVMe slots inside, so you can add more storage. At $289, this is a bargain. For the next tier up, we got the Minus Forum UM773 Lite. This one has eight cores, 16 threads, with a 680M onboard GPU, we can play games with higher FPS. We'd say this is the first computer in the list to consider for video production, and can also emulate up to PlayStation 3 quite well. Now we're going to move on to the top tier Ryzen chips, and these will mainly have faster memory and GPU, allowing for AAA games, sometimes at 1080p. And the first one we have is the Reaten Allo 9. This mini PC uses quality parts, has a full metal case, and with its liquid metal thermal compound, it kept very cool. It's extremely rare to see a computer with two HDMI 2.1 ports, especially at this price point. And the only real problem we had with this computer was the poor Wi-Fi signal strength due to its robust metal case. But if we look a bit further, we can find this B-Link Sur 7, and with that 5% discount, it comes to $550. While the CPU may be clocked ever so slightly lower, we don't really see much difference between this and the 7940HS. You'll be getting very similar frames in games. B-Link have a good reputation of keeping their systems quiet and making quality products, so this is definitely one to consider. But when it comes to the best bang for buck, the GMK Tech K6 is an excellent unit indeed. Whereas the Sur 7 is the premium model, this is the mini PC without airbags. It won't be as quiet or polished as the B-Link, but it still has two fans for cooling, two NVMe slots, and much like the other high-tier Ryzen's, can emulate up to PlayStation 3. The K8 with the 8000 processor is also available, but honestly, there's not much difference in gaming performance to the K6. And finally, we're going to check out two dark horses. First up is the Paladin Half 4, which is still in the high tier bracket, going for 469. Admittedly, the reviews are all over the place, but it might be worth a try. I don't know. Probably a bad idea. And last one is the Camrui Am OE Pro. This is another 7735HS, but if we use that coupon, it comes to $292. Again, there are mixed reviews, and one that states it had malware installed. So what you could do is get this for cheap, install Bazaar to it, and you'll have an amazing little Steam box. 
If you want to help us out, we've got affiliate links in the description down below. Or you could just bash that like button like a caveman. Hard like my stick. This has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandory, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra.